Welcome, welcome back on the new help at C squared. In this example, we're going to use a graphing utility to find the solution set for each of these rational inequality. I'm going to use a TI-83 calculator. If you notice on this TI-83 and some other calculator, you have a button that says Y equal. That's the button I'm going to press. And on that um, situation, I'm going to type in the exact rational function i have it here okay and for seeing the graph i'm going to have to choose this button which says graph and i'm going to get a picture like this in this moment i'm looking when this function is less or equal zero right and we notice the graph is under the x-axis right here so the only thing you need to be able is to see where it is zero which i think it's negative six and then the function is going down forever and he has an asymptote at two so this is the solution set based on the graphical approach do not forget you have a choice to see a table this blue this uh, yellow choice here you're going to click uh, the second and the uh, uh, graph button and then you can see a table and look to value of f of x and you'll notice between negative six and two this function is negative let's go to the second uh, inequality which is a little bit different because we have this less than two so what you really want to do here is to subtract two on both sides and that's the expression you get on the left side that's the one you want to put it in your calculator because now you can compare similar with the first problem with zero so of course on the graph we're going to look when the fraction when the rational function is uh, under the x-axis because we have less than zero that happens here uh, negative infinity to uh, looks like uh, zero and somewhere here it looks for me like uh, if we can count one two three four five six seven seven ish okay so you you notice um sometimes if you have just the picture it's hard to see it so don't forget about the table you can look in the table in this moment and see when the values of this function are less than zero it's, you should have to interval like this and for the last problem we're going to use the same approach be careful again you have greater than two so uh, you want to get zero so we're going to subtract one on both sides which gives me this situation and one more thing let me mention mention use parentheses correctly if you want to get the correct solution and then let's take a look to the graph here uh, we're looking when this function is above x-axis so that's is here and that's it it looks for me the interval is zero to two as a solution set but again don't forget to choose this table uh, choice in case you need it to get the exact interval if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you